how has a formal computer science education been helpful to your career as a data scientist, maybe uh, specifically, and then maybe even more generally as uh, as a business person, as a consultant? Yeah. I, I, and I think there are generally two takes on this from, from the data science crowd, right? There's uh, the, I would say, the, the more mathy statistical take, and then there's more of the programmatic take. And I don't know that either one of them is necessarily correct. I can only speak from my experience, which is going to be from the programming side. Now, I actually, I really like the joke that a data scientist is somebody who isn't good at statistics or programming, which is definitely how what I am. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would say that my my statistics is probably lacking quite a bit, and, and um, uh, some people might see that as a huge flaw, right? But I, I would say yeah, that yeah. my my uh, software engineering is is probably significantly better than than most data scientists. So right. that there are gives and takes there, right? Um, what I've seen is, is that. A lot of people, I think I alluded to this previously, who are, who are data scientists don't necessarily want to be programmers, but basically they are programmers. I mean, you could say the mm -hmm. same thing about Excel users who are using Excel right. in some uh, capacity that, uh, you know, doing VLOOKUPs. Um, and so there are certain practices that if you adopt them are going to make your life easier and going to make collaborating and working with others easier. That... I, I get that you don't want to be a programmer or whatnot, but uh, once you start having to work with others and you, you really want to start adopting some of these practices. So I, I think that's certainly useful for, for um, data scientists to have some software engineering background. I mean, some, some things that would be useful for a lot of them is um, like learning to understand Git, to, to manage uh, source control. Um, I think a lot of people I've seen have very limited exposure to the command line. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, you know, in the Python world, the command line is basically used all over the place. So if you're, it's not to say that you have to have that, but you, you are, you are going to make things harder for yourself if, if you don't have some basic command line usage there as well. Um, and then just sort of general programming practices that I see violated all the time. I mean, probably the most egregious one is, and Jupyter sort of encourages that, is just globals all over the place, using globals all over the place, which right. a, a trained software engineer, that's like a huge no-no, but yeah. we sort of overlook that in Jupyter land. 